Hello everyone welcome again. Well in this video we are going to discuss how you can trigger the J unit test case with the help of AND. So for that I am going to follow a directory structure. Java will be our base directory. Inside that we will have bin, lib and source 3 subdirectory. The bin will contain all the compiled class. The lib will contain all the dependent jar and source folder will contain all the Java file and we will have a build.xml in the base directory. So this is the base directory. Inside I have a build.xml. I am going to customize this build.xml. So first of all, the first target will be a cleanup target which will delete if their existing folder are present. Cleanup. So delete. This will be directory and bin this will be your lib directory this will be src and one more directory for generating the reports so, reports okay the next target will be create which will have dependency on cleanup. Inside this target I am going to create all these directories. So mkdir ok so just let me run this to target for cross checking so and create so it has done the cleanup and it has created the directory now after that as we have a dependency on different jar so I'm going to move all those jar inside the lib folder so there will be a copy target target copy which will have dependency on create so copy overwrite equal to true to dir will be lib ok lib and as we have multiple jars to copy so we need to use file set file set dir will be so for our project I have put all the jar file inside the cj unit folder so cj unit will be your directory and I want to include only star.jar file ok star.jar ok the next copy is for copying all the java file from target di source directory to the directory which is present inside the java folder so again overwrite equal to true to directory will be your src and again here also file set so file set dir will be So this is the location where we have all our Java file and again it will include only star.java ok so let me run this target and copy so let me open my Java folder so inside bin will not have anything inside lib so we have all the jars inside source we have all the java file ok now after that the next thing will be to compile all the java file so target name will be compile which will have dependency on copy and for compilation I need to use java c tag include 
and run time true source directory is your src and destination directory will be your bin okay let's say I put a description also compiling java files okay and for this I need to use file set again because I have multiple or instead of file set I will directly use here includes star dot java okay so let me run this compile okay now it has done the compilation but as you can see that we are getting an error that csv reader and other things stuff so this is the reason uh, so the reason why I'm getting this error because we need to set the class path inside ant so he can refer all the third party jar so for setting the class path we'll use the path path here specify the id class path so in order to set the class path you need to take the help of path tag and I'm using the id along with it, it because this particular path will be referred by more than one target so in that target I can directly refer with the help of ID now inside this path tag specify path and location so location is our lib which contain all our jar and we have as we have multiple jar so file set again dir is lib includes star dot jar okay and in order to refer this class path inside our Java, Java C tag, so use class path ref and specify the ID. So ID is class path. Okay. And also I will use path location equal to bin. Okay. Now if I do the compilation again, so as you can see that it has compiled the all the class files okay so let me rerun it once again so compilation is done okay so we are getting some problem with this test error okay okay so I need to just comment this package part So now this time compilation is done. Okay. Now I need to run our J unit. So target name run and this will be our default target. Okay. So inside this I will use the Java tag. First I will use the class path ref to reference the class path. then I need to specify the class name so class name is test runner and I will use the fork equal to true and also I think this is enough okay and I need to create a dependency on compile okay now I will run our and run so as you can see that it has it has just a minute so it has started execution hour Java, uh, it has started the execution of test runner and as you can see that it are, there are total run count as 14 failure 7 and it has listing down the failures okay 
So this was the one way by which you can trigger your JUnit with the help of ant and here I am directly taking the help of a Java tag. Okay. So here I am specifying which is the main class because inside the main class if you look at our test runner all the classes are added over here. Okay. But there is one more way that is with the help of JUnit tag. So I will comment out this and here I will use JUnit tag halt on failure I will make it false and print summary I will make it true inside this I need to specify the class path reference ID will be class path so here what I'm doing I'm creating a JUnit tag sorry JUnit tag specifying halt on failure so if any of the class file got failed it will continue its execution print summary will print information about execution at the console now as we know that we our JUnit will have dependency on the external jar which we have already specified the class path so this ta uh, tag should refer this class path so that I'm doing with the help of this class path tag now this is done so you need to use test and specify the name of the file you need to run so for us it will be test before and after after dash test csv so it will be test csv test database test error and also test j unit so one more tag test tag test j unit ok so you need to take the help of this test tag to run your j unit and here I am specifying the name of the class which I, I want to execute so let us suppose you are using some kind of package hierarchy means it is in uh, your your java file will contain some com.java so you need to specify along with the package hierarchy the name of test class okay so I am not using any kind of package hierarchy that's why I have specified the name directly so now again I will run ant so as you can see that it is running our J unit and printing the information at the console okay so test before test CSV and we are getting some error over while running it okay test uh, J unit fail so now we are as you can see that we are getting error over here so we need to have certain kind of mechanism to debug it so for that we will generate a report so here you need to use formatter and type so inside the type either you can generate an XML report or either you can generate a plain TXT report so I will go with the plain here I will specify the directory to which I need to generate the report so this will be 2 dir so again 2 dir reports 2 dir reports ok so now it is going to generate a plain text report inside this report folder ok so and now if I go to my source folder so reports will have the sorry reports folder will have all the reports in the form of text file so as you can see that it has printed the required output at the uh, at the reports similarly if you look at test csv so we are getting some illegal state for it's not able to initialize the xml ok so in this in this manner you can create a report with the help of with the help of the format type 
format type and if I make it to XML so now it is going to generate the XML version so again end so if I go to the reports folder so now as you can see that instead of text file we will have the XML representation of report so in this manner you can run your JUnit either with the help of Java tag or you can take the help of JUnit tag also. So that's all for this video and thanks for watching.